Hello, my name's Richard. I'm a cosplayer. And as you might guess from my appearance, I normally do characters like Indiana Jones' dad, uh, Sir Barris and Selmy from Game of Thrones, you know, old guys with gray beards, old Ben Kenobi and so forth. But I love Hopper from Stranger Things, Chief Jim Hopper. And I didn't see any tutorials on his costume on YouTube. So I made a little series. This is, will be the third of the series and the shortest. The first video is on the uniform itself, the shirt, and the things that go with the shirt, the patches, the badge, the pen, and the name tag, the undershirt, the belt, the pants, the boots. The second video was just about the hat and his revolver and the holster, which is more involved subject than you might imagine. It takes a while. So this video will be the shortest one. It's about the other ancillary accessories. First is the wristband. If you remember, his daughter um, is dying from cancer, and she has a scrunchie, kind of a turquoise scrunchie, and he ends up wearing that as a uh, as a wristband. In the very first scene, he's wearing it in the shower. He never takes it off. I mean, it's very sentimental, very meaningful to him. You can get the exact screen accurate one, and here it is. It comes in a little set like this, and it's called Skunsi. It's like an umlau. I don't know. Skunsi Everyday and Active, six pieces. And that's the little set. And you see that they're kind of these bright 80s colors. And this one, as you see, is turquoise. So you take that one off the package and you put it on your wrist. And there's your um, screen accurate season one cosplay. Now the next thing, so that's very inexpensive to, and a very easy thing to get screen accurate. The other thing that's not too expensive to get screen accurate is his watch. It's an Atlantis 100, it's from the 80s, the night mode version. And if you notice, it'll say on the band, I don't know if you can see, it says Atlantis. Now there's other models that his is not. It's not the Expedition, and it's not the Triathlon, and they will say that. This is the model that says Atlantis. Now it has this little compass on there, which you can buy these inexpensively on eBay. And the watch itself, now, I wanted a working watch because I'm at a I'm at a Comic Con and I want to know what time it is, and so I got this one in really excellent condition and it, it runs really well, though it's a little tricky to set. I think this was like twenty five dollars maybe, so not not bad at all. And it's it's a, the exact authentic one that he wears in the show, and uh, so you can see he has the compass there on the inside. I don't know. I guess he wants to know where north is. So that's the watch. Not not a big deal. Now the sunglasses are Ray-Ban Outdoorsmen. And they're kind of distinctive. They have this little kind of tan tube thing there. It goes across the top and they have these wire things. And they're available. You can get them for around $100. These are knockoffs that I got on eBay for under five dollars. I think they were three dollars or something. Because I'm out at a Comic Con and I might drop them, step on them, leave them in the restroom or something like that. So I don't want to carry around a hundred dollar set of sunglasses. Now the knife. On pinned or clipped to his belt and back, he has and it, I, I puzzled for a while knowing what this object was. And it's actually a knife. Uh, it doesn't go in a sheath. It actually has a spring um, spring steel clip in the back that clips onto his belt. And it's got this kind of odd look because it's the nickel plated and then it's got kind of black rubber inserts. And uh, there's the, uh, the blade comes out. And it's, they're made in England. And it's, the knife is called, the company's called Sheffield. And it's called a Sheffield Superior Folder. And I don't know if you can see, but there's an oval with the Sheffield logo on it there. 
and different years will have different lettering, different fonts. And this one, the Sheffield in the oval is in italic script. So that's the, uh, that's the one you want to be the uh, screen accurate. And these you can get on eBay. I mean, they still make them. You can get new ones. But this is, you know, an older model like he uses in the show. And I think it was $6 on eBay. Not an expensive thing. Now, the other thing he has that, um, oh, now I have a donut here. Now, why do I have a donut? Now, this is just a, a modified airsoft pistol. Um, I took, I removed all the, I took all the part, took all the metal parts out and glued it back together. So it's completely non-ferrous. It'll go through a metal detector. Still, a lot of our Southern California cons don't allow anything that resembles a weapon. So I couldn't take this into a lot of our cons. So what I do is, this is a foam rubber fake donut. So I put that in my holster and snap it. I'm walking around cons like that. And you wouldn't know how much attention I get from that, how many smiles I get, how, how many people point and go, hey, look, he has a donut in his holster. And the other thing that's nice is if I'm walking around a con and there's police officers patrolling, one of the first things they'll do is that they glance at my holster and they see that and I get big smiles from them because it's obviously not threatening. So I think it's a nice prop. There is kind of a, a banana thing at some of our local Southern California cons that ban anything that resembles a weapon. I mean, they ban Nerf guns, squirt guns, water pistols, anything. Is that in holsters, they'll actually put a, 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 probably not a real banana, it's probably like a plastic banana, but you'll see a lot of this kind of a banana thing. But, but I use the donut, because Hopper has donuts. And then there's the cup. Now, this is the, this is his meme, this is a saying that he says, you know, he goes, I told you mornings are for co coffee and contemplation. And you don't see any mug that has this, but there's that scene in episode one of season one, and he goes into the, um, the um, station, and there on a table is the coffee machine, the coffee maker, and there's all these random mugs sitting around, and they're all different. They don't have like a... a Hawkins police logo or anything. They just have random things. And I think what the idea is, is that they're just mugs that they've picked up from local businesses in town. And he, Hopper walks by and grabs a mug. And fortunately, he walks around with it like this. So you don't ever, you can't see very well what's on the back, but it, it's an irregular design. Later, when he's in his office talking to Joyce, you can see the mug. It might be a different one, but you can see a mug. And you can see it's the outline of some trees. So that's that's the mug that he's actually carrying. I got this one just because it's a nice it's a nice prop. I think at a uh, comic con it's nice to have something to drink out of. If I want to drink water, uh, I was once at a comic con that they had IPA and I got IPA and I had that on there and I ran into some people and they said, "What do you have in that coffee?" And I said, "No, I have beer." And they go, "Well, you're, you're staying in character." So that's what's nice about. I like useful props. Now, the one thing uh, that he wears that I do not have to show you, because I'm in Southern California, and the last thing I'm going to want is a big, heavy coat. And that is his big, heavy coat. And it's a, it's called a B9, like the letter B, the number 9, B9 bomber jacket. They call it a B9 split hood parka. Split hood because there's a zipper down the middle of the hood, and you can zip it and, and split the hood. It's navy blue. Now, most of the ones you see have a shiny nylon shell. His, it's not shiny. It's, it's probably cotton or, you know, it's a, it's a kind of a dull cotton shell, but navy blue. And I think it's a kind of a Korean War era uh, thing, which sort of makes sense. But I don't have one of those. But I, I checked online, and there are places that sell those. So I think that concludes the, uh, my series of videos.